Hello everybody, this will be a basic run through of market cipher support and resistance. If you guys learned something new from this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Anyways, just using, if we go to our indicators and turn on market cipher SR, stands for support and resistance, as you can see here, and I have it turned on on my chart right now, along with market cipher B, but right now we're just going to be focusing on market cipher SR. And so based on the time frame, it will display support and resistances of that range. And so as you can see, the yellow dots you see on my chart are local resistance or supports that the chart has mapped out. And usually when the price action will break through this yellow dots of support, usually it leads to a lower range. Um, so just something to keep out for. Along with a the blue, which stands for a more longer range of support. And usually when this tends to break, it does lead to further downside, more, more volatile downside. And so that just stands for like a major support in this case. And so as you can see right here is that we did bounce off of this blue line here multiple times, and then we finally broke it, tested it as resistance, and now we're just kind of rejecting off of it. So that is just something to keep in mind for that. Right now, this yellow or this white line you see right here is a VWAP, and it stands for like a major support or resistance. In this case right now, since we are below the VWAP, it is acting as major resistance and confluence to this blue long uh, old support, which is now resistance. And so this right here to keep note of is that when you have the VWAP lining up with a major support or resistance, in this case resistance, it will act as a strong range to trade off of. And so speaking of res resistances, the pink slash purple lines you see are basically resistances of that range that market cipher sr will map out for you and as you can see right here we just kind of rejected off of that along with a vwap so that was acting as a strong resistance again that you want to look for confluence with the vwap and the uh, local support resistances that Marcus Cypher SR maps out for you. And then what we have is this blue band that you can see that's kind of all over the place, spread out pretty much. That acts as a sort of a range. And so it kind of tells you extra confluence if something or price action is overbought or oversold. Right now, it is showing price action tending to be oversold since we are on the bottom of this blue band range. And then up here, of course, this will tell you when price is kind of overbought. As you can see, it kind of rejected off of there. So that is just another confluence to really keep in mind. And besides that, that is pretty much it for Market Cipher SR. I'd look for divergences on based on the time frame that you are looking at and just go to a lower time frame and look for divergences based off the indications of support and resistance you are getting and so for example if i am on the 12 minute time frame i would go down to the three minute to six minute time frame just kind of take your time frame and chop it and a half or a quarter of the time frame you are looking at based off of the support and resistance and look for divergences either bullish or bearish to trade off of um, based off of the previous time frame you are looking at so again that is it for the video please like and subscribe and thanks